Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the Investor Plus. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that has the power to transform your financial journey, compound interest. Now, I know finance might seem a bit daunting, but don't worry, we're going to break it down step by step. So grab your favorite snack, get comfy, and let's embark on this enlightening journey of understanding how your savings can multiply over time. All right, let's start from the ground up. What exactly is compound interest? Well, think of it as the magic that happens when your money makes money, and then that money makes more money. It's a cycle of growth that can turn even a modest sum into a substantial fortune over the long haul. But how does it work? Imagine you've got some money saved up, say $1,000. Now, you decide to invest it in an account that offers compound interest. This interest isn't just calculated once, it's added to your initial investment regularly, be it monthly, quarterly, or annually. So, as time goes on, your interest earns its own interest. It's like a snowball rolling downhill, gathering more snow and getting bigger as it goes. One of the key ingredients in the compound interest recipe is time. The longer your money has to grow, the more spectacular the results. This is where patience truly pays off. Let's illustrate this with an example. Meet Sarah and Alex. Both decide to invest $5,000, but Sarah starts at 25 and Alex at 35. They both earn the same interest rate of 8%. Fast forward 30 years and guess what? Sarah's investment has grown significantly more than Alex's, all thanks to the extra time her money had to work its magic. Now, you might be wondering, how long will it take for my money to double? That's where the rule of 72 comes in. It's a nifty shortcut to estimate how many years it'll take for your investment to double, given a certain interest rate. You simply divide 72 by the interest rate. So, if you're getting a 6% return, your money will take about 12 years to double. See? Finance can be a piece of cake. To truly harness the power of compound interest, consistency is key. Even if you're starting with a small amount, regular contributions can lead to remarkable outcomes. Picture this, you invest $100 every month with an average annual return of 7%. In 30 years, you'll have around $100,000. And guess how much of that is from your contributions? Only $36,000. The rest? It's the magic of compound interest. Let's explore a scenario. You have two options. Start investing $2,000 per year at age 25, or wait until you're 35 to invest double that $4,000 per year. Assuming a 6% annual return by age 65, the early bird would have around $400,000, while the procrastinator would end up with roughly $280,000. That's a significant difference, all because the early bird gave their money more time to grow. While compound interest is a potent tool, remember to consider inflation. Inflation is the gradual rise in prices over time, meaning your money's purchasing power diminishes. To combat this, aim for investments that outpace inflation, ensuring your wealth doesn't erode over the long term. Compound interest isn't just a theoretical concept, it's at work all around us. Mortgages, student loans, and credit cards are examples of compound interest working against us. On the flip side, long-term investments like retirement accounts and savings bonds allow compound interest to work in our favor. Now, let's talk about the relationship between compound interest and risk. Understanding risk in investing is like walking a tightrope. On one side, you have higher risk investments that offer the potential for bigger rewards, but come with more uncertainty. On the other, lower risk options are safer, but typically provide more modest gains. To make the most of compound interest while navigating this tightrope, assess your risk tolerance. This means getting comfortable with how much market fluctuation you can handle. Then, choose investments like stocks for potential high returns or bonds for stability, aligning with your risk, comfort, and financial goals. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach. It's about finding your own balance on the tightrope of risk and reward. 
Taxes can have a significant impact on your investment returns. Taxes are a financial reality, even in the world of compound interest. Some investments offer tax advantages, like retirement accounts, where your earnings may grow tax-deferred or tax-free. Others may have different tax rules, depending on your location. Optimizing taxes means smart asset placement. Put investments with higher tax implications into tax-advantaged accounts and those with lower tax impact into taxable ones. You can also employ tax loss harvesting to offset gains with losses, potentially reducing your tax bill. Understanding and implementing these tax considerations can help you keep more of your compound interest gains in your pocket. Now, let's build your strategy for maximizing compound interest step by step. Begin with clear goals. What are you saving for? Whether it's retirement, a down payment on a home, or something else, your goals will shape your investment choices. Next, select the right investments that match your goals and risk tolerance. Diversify your portfolio across different asset classes to spread risk effectively. Continuously monitor your portfolio and make adjustments as needed. Life circumstances change, so your strategy should adapt accordingly. And always remember, compound interest is a long-term gain. Stay the course and you will watch your wealth grow over time. And there you have it, a comprehensive dive into the world of compound interest. We've covered its basics, the influence of time, the rule of 72, strategies for maximizing growth, the importance of starting early, real life applications, compound interest and risk, tax considerations, and creating your compound interest strategy. The power of compound interest lies in its ability to turn your patient, consistent efforts into a substantial financial win. Remember, you don't need to be a financial wizard to benefit from compound interest. Just start early, stay consistent, and let time do the heavy lifting. Thanks for joining us today on the Investor Plus. Until next time, keep learning and keep investing wisely.